In this video, I'll be answering the question you see on the screen here from paper 33 from the year 2024 Cambridge A-level exams. If you're looking for a different question from this paper, there should be a link to a playlist in the description below. And if you're looking for a different paper, have a look around on my channel. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to your teacher doing. But remember, we're not in a classroom, so take advantage of YouTube, pause, rewind, whatever helps you out. Uh, if you find this or any of my videos useful, I would greatly appreciate a like, a subscribe, or even a share. In question 10, they give us the vector equation for two different lines. That's here and here. And just to remind you uh, what a vector equation of a line tells you, uh, the first vector tells you how to get to the line from, from the origin. And the second vector is a vector along the line. Let me, uh, let me draw both of these, I suppose. Here's one line, here's the next, and here's the origin. So the first vector gets you somewhere onto the line, and the second vector is a vector somewhere on the line, like that. Uh, remember, two lines are guaranteed to hit each other in two dimensions, but not in three. So we don't know these lines are gonna hit each other. In fact, they tell us that in part B, they don't, and in part, in, they tell, in part B, they tell us in part A, they don't, but in part B, they, did, they do. <laughs> okay, uh, so part A, they say, given that the acute angle between these lines, between the directions of these lines, so this vector and this vector, they, we don't know if they touch, but vectors can be moved any way we want. If we move these, um, so this one and then this one, we get something like this. We get them beside each other and we find an angle between them. This is a common enough thing to do. We'll, we'll show you more in a moment. But given that the Q angle between these is equal to, let's uh, put that as theta. Theta is equal to pi over four, I believe they tell us. Yeah, pi over four. Find the value of A, basically. So that's what they're telling us. We have two lines. The angle these lines would make if they were beside each other, if they touched, is pi over four. What, what, what could A be? Or possible values of A. That's a hint there. So we're gonna find more than one answer for A. How do we do this? Uh, when you're thinking angles between vectors, hopefully you're thinking dot product. Um, so the dot product of, let's write it here, of A dot B is equal to the length of A times the length of B times cosine of the angle between them. Sorry, different angles, I suppose. Let's turn that to phi. And that's what the dot product tells us. So we just need to know the vector on, on each of these lines. And that's this guy here, these two. So we can just get three, four, a dot product with minus one, two, two. Sorry, I didn't say before now, uh, I'm writing the vectors like this. They gave them to us in, uh, what's that called, unit form. And I'm writing them in column form. So this just is three i plus four j plus, uh, plus, sorry, that looks like a nine, uh, plus AK. And this is uh, minus I plus two J plus two K. Okay, just so there's no confusion. So this is equal to the length of this vector, which is a big square root, three squared plus four squared plus A squared, multiplied by the length of this vector. And uh, that's uh, minus one squared plus two squared plus two squared, uh, multiplied by cosine of the angle between them. That's what the dot product tells. These are all just numbers. Sorry, uh, we know the angle. That's uh, pi over four. These are all just numbers, except for a couple of a's. So we can, um, we can sort these out. We can rearrange this and just solve for a. And that's what they want us to do at this point. So let's remember what the dot product says. Uh, top line by top line, multiply them, we get minus three. Then we add, add to that middle by middle, we get eight. We add to that uh, the bottom, so that's a uh, 2a. And that equals, let's clean all this up, that's a uh, 25 plus a squared, uh, multiplied by, let's see, this is uh, four plus four plus one, that's nine, square root of nine. I could have wrote three there. And cosine pi over four, let me just, check my notes on that one, uh, that comes out of square root of two over two. Okay, again, we just have to solve this. It's a bit messy. Uh, I guess we can clean it up a lot more. Let's multiply both sides by two. Um, 
divide, no, we leave the three over here, um, we get eight minus three becomes five. Five times two is 10. Uh, 2a times two is 4a, that's this two by the way, I'm written over, is equal to square root of 25 plus a squared uh, times uh, three square root two. Okay, how do we get rid of a square root? A square, we can't really get this any neater than this. Uh, we need to get rid of this square root at some stage. Square both sides. That's, that's the, got to be the easiest way to do it. Squaring the right hand side becomes 100 uh, plus, that's 40 times two, that's 80 a plus 16 a squared. Uh, squaring this is just like squaring all of them individually. So square of this is 25 plus a squared, it just cancels the square root. Okay, markers run out, uh, definition getting a bit bad. Um, square of three is nine, square of square root of two is two. So that's uh, 18. Um, so that's multiplying so, some of the, actually yeah, let's do that now. 18 times 25, oh, that's a, that's a tough one. Um, that is 450 uh, plus 18 a squares. Okay, hopefully you can see we have a quadratic here. We have an a squared, we have them a couple of times. We have a's and we have numbers. Let's just rearrange this. Uh, let's keep the a squared positive. So let's get everything on the right. 18 a squared minus 16 a squared is two a squared. Uh, minus 80 a. And let's see, we would get uh, 450 minus 100 is plus 350. And it would leave zero over there. So equals zero. Uh, everything divides by two. So we get a squared minus 40 a. Uh, plus a uh, one seven five equals zero. Um, hope if you if you're not good at factorizing, and this is a hard one to factorize, use the minus b formula. Uh, it has to be a by a. Uh, two numbers to multiply to get one hundred and seventy five. There's lots of them, unfortunately. And uh, add together to get forty. Go, go through the possibilities. One times this, no. Two times this doesn't work. Three, does that go in? Um, I think it might, but it. Anyway, um, it turns out to be five. Uh, five times uh, 35, they combine to get to the 40, both of them being minus. So our two answers here is A is equal to five and A is equal to 35. And that's, uh, that's the answer for part A. Uh, part B, we're gonna keep these lines, uh, but everything else changes, so I'll just rub it all out now. Right, part B, the English is a bit confusing. They say, given instead that the lines intersect, that's just saying, forget everything I told you before, the lines now intersect, and <laughs> find the value of A. So they're just telling us these lines do intersect, what is A? Um, if you're using I, J, and K, you just put all the I's, J's, and K's in this one equal to all, sorry, all the I's in this one equal all the I's in this. All the J's in this equal all the J's in that. What that means is I'm saying one plus lambda times three, so that should be a one. Uh, one plus three lambda must equal minus three, uh, sorry, plus minus mu. I'll clean this up in a moment. That's all, uh, if these, if these uh, two lines intersect, they must equal at a certain point. So all the I's must equal. All the J's must equal. All the, the third rows must equal. If I clean this one up, uh, let's see, get three lambda is equal minus four and minus mu. That'd be the first row. Second row, something similar. I'd get four lambda, four lambda, um, I'd get minus one and I'd get another minus one. So I'd get minus two and I'd get two mu plus two mu. And then finally I would get uh, a lambdas. This is gonna be, I'm not gonna use this one. Uh, let's just write two a here. Um, not at the moment, I'm not, is equal to uh, four plus two mu. There are three equations with three unknowns. I don't know lambda, I don't know mu, and I don't know a, but I have three equations. We can solve this, it's just a, a, a simultaneous equation, a um, simultaneous equation with three variables. Now it's not even that difficult though, because the first two have two unknowns and there are two equations. Just forget the third one for the moment. We'll come back to it later to try and find what A is. For now, let's just find out what mu and lambda is. And we can do that quite easily if we just write the top row, multiply it by two, uh, we'd get six mu, uh, six lambda 
uh, is equal to minus 8 minus 2 mu. And then just add these two together. These cancel. Uh, we get minus 8 uh, minus uh, 2 is minus 10. 4 lambda plus 6 lambda is 10 lambda. Lambda is just equal to minus 1. And again, put it back in to find mu. Uh, let's use this line here. We'd have minus mu is equal to 3 times minus 1. That's uh, 3 minus 1s. And then this guy will come over plus 4. So that's minus mu is equal to uh, 1. Mu is equal to minus 1. And then finally, we just need to find the A. Uh, I guess this line here, two A's plus uh, minus one A's minus A is equal to four plus minus two. Again, a minus one I just put in, a minus one I put in here. Uh, that's just A is equal to two. And I think that's all they wanted. Uh, yeah, that, that would be full marks here. But I do warn you, students make mistakes uh, doing these all the time. Test your answer. Take an extra one minute to test your answer. Imagine if I put these three numbers, let's put a box around all of them, these three numbers back into these two equations. I would get one minus three. I'd get minus two up the top. What about over here? I'd get minus three, minus, minus one. I'd get a minus two. They agree. And go through all of them like that. This would be a minus three, that'd be a minus three. The bottom row would be a four minus two, that'd be a two, and this would be four minus two, that'd be a two. They agree at all points, these are the correct three points, and the one they were looking for was just the A, which is two. Okay, I hope, uh, I hope that helped you answer this question. Uh, if you have any follow-on questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.